Hey there, welcome to another video. We're going to be doing word art today. So word art is very famous among uh, high school students and word art is, um, let me actually just show you a comparison, right? So I'm going to do the first one, which is, uh, let's put a title. Tigers are fierce, right? So let's do that. Now if I want this to be a heading, okay, I come into here and I do kind of my standard heading stuff. So we're going to go, let's say, quite large 26 let me actually zoom in a bit so you can see it right targets are fierce and then I'm gonna change the format here let's make this kind of blue right and it looks pretty cool it's a kind of a standard title or I can do something a little bit different and that's where word art comes in so let me bring this to the right just so I don't have to navigate the page too much so if I go to insert I'm just gonna pick over here and this little A that you can see is the word art button. Now you can have some which are already kind of set and customized. So I'm going to just pick any. It doesn't really matter because you can always edit it. All right. So I've got one here and I'm going to go tigers are fierce. Okay. So straight away you can kind of see that it's a little bit more artsy, a little bit more colorful and like eye catching, which is pretty cool. Right. And what I'm going to do is just show you some ways that you can edit this. So first of all, you want to, like everything else, whatever you're editing, you have to activate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So I can click inside or I can click on the edge. If you do want to, there's kind of two ways to edit this. One is you can go inside and highlight like that, or you can click the edge and click the object. I prefer to click the object because it just kind of ensures that I've selected everything. And then you'll notice that you now have this format tab at the top and this is where your all your formatting is going to happen okay so again you can change the borders you can change the backgrounds right so we can make this let's say blue you can change if you come back to the home menu tab you can change you know the fonts and everything like that so that's pretty standard i won't go through that um you can change the effects of the actual um what do you call this the i guess the tile or the border you can actually go over here as well and I believe, nope, I was thinking of the wrong thing. Okay. Um, or maybe it's edit shape. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. Okay. So if you go edit shape, I mean, you could change the shape, right? You can actually change what the pattern of the tile is. So the one I tend to use is this one right here, right? And there's an interesting story behind this kind of curved square. Now, I don't know how true this is, but when Steve Jobs, you know, was kind of looking into computers for the very first time, they had squares, you know, really basic squares. And he said, no, I want a square with like rounded edges. And his explanation was a lot of things we see in life have curved edges like this. And so he said, make sure it has it. And the designer had to work really, really fierce, fiercely, see what I did there, and to make it happen. And so that's, yeah, that's just an interesting story, right? So you can do that shape effects. You can do text effects. Um, a lot of these would already be preset to kind of so have what you already see here. Uh, we can do glows, we can do reflections, we can do shadows. So again, I've I've literally spent a lot of time doing these kinds of things over the years, right? You can do this kind of stuff, and it's really funny. Like I tend to see, like this is good for spreadsheets and stuff like that. But then when I see people make flyers, I can usually tell it's like this person did it in Excel, you know. So. <laughs> Um, just something a little interesting. Uh, you can do like object controls, but that's kind of the, the gist of what word art is. Okay, so it's a really cool way to just make some new titles. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.